And good morning. I'm happy to have you here. Yeah, this is Thinkorswim. This this is the Thinkorswim platform and today I'm going to be trading on the simulator. Once I feel that my strategy is tested and successful, I will then trade with my own hard-earned money and I'll live stream for your viewing pleasure. So today you're welcome to join me and follow along as I place real trades in the simulator and I'm going to share with you what I've learned about the stock market. So remember trading is risky and as always, please do trade in a simulator first to develop a strategy that produces consistent results before you put real money on the line. Now the stocks I'll be trading today are from a stock scanner called Trade Ideas. I've uploaded the data from Trade Ideas into my own custom made scanner so that you can go back in time and trade or so that I can go back in time. Yes, you could too and trade any day in the past. And that is what we'll be doing today. So the three stocks you see here are the leading tickers in the market this morning. Primarily, we'll be using the one and five minute time frames. So with five minutes to go till the market opens, let's break down these stocks. So this is kind of a canned speech I put at the beginning of every video and I'm um, working on it, kind of fumble through it a little bit. And so this is the gap scanner this morning. It is May 27th. I'm going to go ahead and push play and we have five minutes to go till the market opens. So on the gap scan this morning, we have a VDL gapping up 45%. Woo! Not you know, that's all right. That's, that's not too bad. Um, there's a lot of volume on AVDL right here. The float is a little on the higher side, the price a little on the cheaper side, but that's okay. It's our leading gapper. Um, and we'll see, this is actually an hourly downtrend, but um, for, for the moment, uh, we're bouncing on the hourly time frame as you can see right here. So We'll see if we get any follow through on the day up towards $2, maybe $2.50. There's some resistance here at $2.35. So we'll see what happens with that. Next up was ACET, no volume. Um, the float's a little high. PMVP, no volume, floats a little high. SIGA, we traded that, I believe, last week. And it's not looking too terribly bad. It is uh, also, well, it has been an hourly downtrend. It is currently switching and moving into the upwards direction, so that's not too bad. You see it's doing this little end around, this little curve, going back up towards $12, maybe up towards $14, maybe all-time highs, who knows. Uh, but not today. I wouldn't expect that move today. Um, so then, so I have that one, and then uh, we have BIRD, um, has a higher float, no volume, RB, RDBX we traded yesterday. I have that up on my secondary screen over here. I'm going to watch it. Not too awfully excited about that. On the high of day momentum scanner, I saw AMC and it looked pretty good. So I decided to put that one on there. And if we look at the hourly, oh, that was the hourly. Um, we do have, did I put lines in here already? I don't think I did. These are probably from wherever, whenever. Um, so we have this high of yesterday. So kind of almost double topping up here. Will we see, and I didn't see this earlier, this, this, another draw leg down and then a breakout? I don't know. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna 
pull up the one in five minute time frames. We'll get rid of that thing there. And let's mark out some levels on the five minute. You have a pivot there. And a support there. And we have a support here. And we have support down here. Voila. Do, 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 do. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I appreciate it. You guys, you are the best. Let me see here. A pivot right there. What time is it? So we got two and a half, two minutes left till the open. Oh, look at that break right through there. Sega pulling back pretty hard. Take note of that drop we just saw. That could be something that we have to worry about as the market opens and we look to take trades on that stock it's always something worth noting those drops can be ridiculous at times uh amc we got a five minute support we have a pivot here and uh high up there so let's go ahead i'm going to set up my stop parameters four and nine so i'm looking at probably seven <clears throat> 10 and 17 so i'm going to say 12 on that one and i'll say 10 on this one and in case you missed the pre uh, video from the past i'll take you down here so you can kind of see what it is i'm doing what did i say i already forgot i said i'm going to go my stop parameter will be 12 cents so my entry will be 12 cents above or my stop will be 12 cents below my entry and over here, I said it would be 10. So it's 6.29 and 25 seconds. We have a half a minute till the market opens. <clears throat> I have some frogs in my throat. I was making another video earlier and I almost wore my voice out. Let's get you back up here to the charts and we'll watch as the market opens. Nice little pivot in this area here, and I see we have tested that. You can see that right there. We came down. That's where the VWAP is. Not too bad. Increasing volume, though, on the one minute here for the bears. For the moment. And the market is open, and where should my tr first trade of the day be? I never even put any lines here on SIGA to have that support. Of course, trading below the VWAP, EMA is trying to cross over here. So I might not trade SIGA until it turns around, possibly. I guess on the 15 minute, there is a support at 1029. We are kind of holding that support. That might be a good area to buy off of. That candle is 20 cents. I have my stop parameter at 10 cents. I can't take a trade for another 10 seconds because the thinkorswim platform won't let me do that on the simulator. We do have this pulling back here to that support. That is a pivot. They're too late. I can't get in on this one unless it drops down. I could get in on that one. But that's rather risky. So I'm just going to hold tight. If I could have gotten in down here, I would have. Now, when I'm live trading, I could have gotten in there. Of course, the problem with thinkorswim platform when you're live trading is oftentimes you can't get in on that one minute candle, that first one minute candle either, because the platform likes to freeze up. And that's always scary. Let's see if I can buy a pullback here on AMC. I'm worried about I'm, I'm worried about drops on AMC. That wasn't the best pullback. The candle is frozen a little. Here we go. There's a move up, and I'm selling, and I'm selling again. It's amazing that I lost forty dollars on that. There is a bit of a spread on AMC. So I'm back in there. Yeah, I see the price moving up. 
and it shows profit on the price ladder, but the bid was way off. Okay, so I'm back to zero now. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm gonna trake it. I'm gonna trake a trade. Trake. A I'm gonna take a trade on uh, RDBX, and you can't see it because it's on my other monitor over here. So. So AVDL bouncing off of some ridiculous level here. I'm not sure where oh, it was a dollar fifty psychological. Okay, gotcha. Selling over here on RDBX for a twenty-six dollar win. So now I'm finally green on the day. Nice bounce here off of this support. I don't like that five-minute candle. We are still trading below the VWAP, below the EMAs. Oh, here we go. I'll try buying this breakout. So the that one minute candle, three quarters of the way through. Maybe I should have waited for the next candle and a pullback to the VWAP. I do like that green volume. Oh, wow, look at that. Pretty wild, pretty wild. I'm gonna get stopped out on that, no doubt pretty sure but what I'm looking for is a drop and an entry right there and maybe another entry my stop is a little tight whoops didn't drop quite as far as I wanted I'm looking for that move up more up higher don't like that. So I got out of ABDL. I could sell. I could sell this uh, Sega right now for some profit, but I'm, I'm being greedy. I want. I want more. And boy, I don't like that this candle just didn't want to go higher. an inside bar let's see what we get see if it gives us a little something here I'm gonna sell half right there and I am out the other half right there so what I'm finding this morning is uh, things are really spready when they're going up and down and I'm having a hard time capturing some profit now, right now, I'm up $74 here. I'm up $26 on the other computer, so I'm up about $100 on the day. And I'm kind of wondering if I should put RDBX up over here for y'all to see. But then I'm afraid I might miss an opportunity on one of these, so I'm not sure about that. I'm going to double check my stop parameters here, make sure I'm okay. Six cents average. I'm at seven, so I'm going to lower that just a little bit. I like to go a little bit smaller. And uh, that way, well, that's a nice pullback there. Yeah, RDBX really breaking out. Got some momentum happening here today. RDBX is actually trending up right now, but it's coming up to a support or a uh, resistance on the 15 on the hourly um, that I'm a little concerned with. So it might pull back here soon. So what do we got on SIGA? 15 minute higher low going for a higher high. 15 minutes higher low going for that higher high. Trading above the EMAs, 
right at the VWAP. Will it flush down? Can I am I can I take a trade right there? And uh, I'm back out and see that was a break even trade, even though it was showing me uh, profit on the ladder. Feels like things are going to pull back here for just a second. Looking for a drop. Well, this is a nice support level there. I'm going to jump in there, even though we might get a drop. And I'm going to take a shot at AVDL again. Okay, some nice profit there on SIGA. I sold for some profit and I sold there on ABDL. So, what? Oh, I forgot to reset my, my, my platform. So I'm showing profits from yesterday also. So that's not good. So we have to just do the math in our heads. And uh, wow, breaking out there. So I've got 40, 108, and 26 on the other computer. And this one here now. Do I take a chance here on AMC? Buying a pullback. Looking for it to hold the VWAP. It's very, I found it. I've taken two trades on AMC this morning already, and both of them were very tricky, as hard to make money. Because AMC is getting spready on me. It's showing me I have profit right there. Okay, I sold and I made 30 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. I'm still not holding on any of this stuff. I was right about RDBX. It is pulling back. Boy, this is nice, huh? I'd like to see something get going here. Get us an uptrend. Just took a couple. I just made a couple of entries on RDBX. Almost took some big losses on RDBX there, but I managed to finish green. Little scary. Let's take a shot here on AMC. Looking for an immediate break. And it's not going to give me that immediate break I was looking for. And that candle is about to close, so this is not not good. Taking a hundred dollar loss, down seventy bucks on AMC.
So I'm in AMC again at $12.68, $12.68. Basing it off of this. Okay, I'm going to add right there. I really don't like the spread. Wow, look at Sega. I'm going to buy Sega on this breakout here. That could drop down and stop me out for sure. That's a very <laughs> that's a very dangerous trade. There we go. Made some money on Sega. I'm not liking AMC. I'm going to exit AMC there. I'm down 170 on AMC. In at a dollar sixty eight there, an ABDL broke the low of that candle. Off of the EMA, see, it's looking like uh, Sega might pull back here, which makes me think this could pull back to that VWAP. So I might take a couple losses, go red on the day. I was looking elsewhere. I must have gotten stopped out here on one of my orders. Okay, nice drop there, down to $11. I'm going to buy AMC. I know I've taken some losses on AMC, but now I'm looking for that move back up. I'm looking for this to be the bottom. I'm going to fight the EMAs and the VWAP there. Looking like I'm going to take a stop here. What line is that? That one doesn't seem to be important to me, so... I would say the EMA would be the spot. So it's tricky being in this many trades at once. Hard to watch all of them. Looks like a maybe a stop out over here, huh? So a fake out on AMC. So down $370 on AMC. Notice that I'm holding Sega, trying to get that move higher up through the highs. Really felt like AMC was going to hold this low. I'm going to try it again. because It still feels like AMC will hold that. It stopped out over here on AVDL. I'm not done with it yet. I'm looking for that drop. 
There we go. It's a two bar pullback on the five minute time frame. It is an uptrend. I'm looking for the EMA to hold. We have this pattern on AMC. So is it just gonna get a higher, a lower high here and then pull back? drop down or is it just going to go straight up what is the play maybe uh same type of pattern here it comes down lower high all right that was a nice trade there I'm going to get out on ABDL because I was green. I'm actually at $0 on ABDL. I'm selling everything right now except for... Yeah, I'm, I'm out on AMC also. And I'm selling my position on RDBX. So here on this... Oh yeah, that's right. I can't do that, can I? So let me show you where we're at here on the day. So I'm at 548 here. I'm at negative 350 here, and I'm sitting up $326 on RDBX on the other computer. So I think that's probably gonna do it for me today. Let's take a look here. That's gonna be about a $500 winning day. And um, I'm, I, I wanna, this doesn't look too bad actually, but what I'm noticing today is that my trading style is kind of like lackadaisical. I'm a little tired, I think. Well, I just recorded a trading video before this one, so I think it's kind of made me a little, um, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but um, I'm not very sharp in my trading here. I, I took some trades that really weren't that great. So the fact that I'm uh, finishing the day up over $500, well, that's pretty impressive considering that I haven't been trading the best. That being said, uh, let me, just so I can um, show you, give me just one second. Okay, so this is where I come over here. I had to go take a screenshot on the other computer. I like to show everything that I've done. I like to show my PNL and stuff because then you can see, you can see the potential. You know, this is uh, today's August twenty third. So here you go, three hundred twenty six dollars and eighty three cents on RDBX. I can show you. Um, 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 I didn't make any money on ABDL. I mean, I, I uh, had a really hard time because it was super spready. It is a cheaper stock, so it's, you know, for a cheaper stock like that to be so spready, that's not good. RDBX. Trying not to waste anybody's time here. So on RDBX, ooh, I got a spider on my knee. Great big spider just crawling down my knee. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I bought this pullback here and sold over the high right here. And then I bought this, I bought a pullback here and I stopped out for a loss. And then I waited a little bit and then I bought, I bought this pullback uh, a couple of times. It went up and then I added right here and then I added again here and then I sold as it broke through this high and made a nice little profit there. So not too shabby. This was not too bad here. You had that one candle that broke up there, but I would put my line here somewhere. It's just a typical, you know, and now it's a breakout pattern, you know, like that. 
that's a bull flag. Had that long upper wick. Sometimes, you know, you know, like 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 you say, the patterns, like I've said before, the patterns in the market are not always perfect. So I had a hard time trading AMC. Nice pullback on RDBX. Wait a minute. Oh, the charts are out of sync. This is going to pull back in a second. What in the heck? Well, they're like... Oh, it's frozen up. That's what's going on. Okay. There it is. There's the pullback. Uh, all the candles. That's weird. The candles are freezing this late in the day. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for taking the time to join me. Um, if I had to do the quick math on this. Oh, what? Oh my God. Um, think or swim. Oh. Oh, I traded RDBX yesterday and made 343. That's interesting because today I made 326. I was like, why is this showing a profit right here? Because on the simulator, I can't pull up RDBX on this computer and have it show the same thing that it's showing on the other computer because it's two different thinkorswims. Now, if it was live trading, then it would show, but um, it's interesting. I made over 300 each day on that same stock. Um, Anyway, so uh, 548 plus 326, that's about 860, 800, $870 minus 350, so 825, so I'm up about 520 bucks. So that'll do it for me today. I thank you for tuning in. I hope this was somewhat eventful for you and uh, you got to see me make some pretty dumb decisions, but then I turned around and make some smart decisions. So um, I am human after all aren't we aren't all of us so you guys uh you all have a good day and uh we'll talk to you next time make sure you hit that like button if you want to you don't have to but i appreciate it and have a good rest of your day